Good morning. Back at Bushnell. I got tagged back in today. Special guest is having a family day today. So, um, special guest Kevin. He's a good time. Um, so, I'm tagged back in. But today is game face day. Um, it's big, big stakes. We got dozers today. We got excavators today. I got to be on my A game. Um, so, I'm doing my intro here from the vehicle. Oh. He is... Um, checking out the trailer getting it pulled together we got a little um, mini trip planned this morning um. okay we're headed back from our little mini field trip um, we went to check out some uh, Jeep cart or no it was a golf cart bodies Bronco golf cart bodies um, we did not win the six-seater. Did you even bid on it yesterday? No, why would I? <laughs> but I did plead the seat. Wasn't in my budget. Wasn't in his, well, in this, in the Bronco body was? Let's keep our YouTube people happy. You just have to subscribe but, to my channel if you want to see more. But not keep mama happy. <laughs> Will I get to drive this if this, if this, pro this is on the project list. Yeah, it's, it's on, been added. Down the way always down the way so we'll see how that turns out but so we're headed back to the auction we've been to the auction once picked up the trailer went and checked out the bronco golf cart bodies headed back um did you recap yesterday what you bought with um our special guest and which by the way you spent more on the first day than you did with kevin yesterday so the i'm not the problem here off. huh thank you strap come on Oh, okay. We may be losing the Bronco golf cart you. body. But you bought a couple of Kubota, what, B26s yesterday? Was that what they were? Yeah. Yeah. A couple tractors going home with the other pieces we bought the day before. But today, like I said, I told Clint we're gonna, I'm going to get this out of the way um, So, because it's a big day. And i got to be serious. i got a lot of responsibility today. He also said that I'm smiling now may not be at the end of the day. We're gonna check on our load. So um, I'll check back in a minute. Is it all strapped in? Oh, check that off. The load was okay. We lost a strap, but we did not lose the load. Maybe you should pay attention. Put your phone down. See, like I said, um, it is game day. Uh, all seriousness aside, big stakes today. A lot of heavy um, equipment, a lot of big prices. So. Um, like Clinton said, I'm smiling now, but today the credit card statement comes. It is like, what did we buy this week? Check is with us. Check, we'll be checking out today. Um, but the stuff, that means the stuff be good. Going home next week, paid for, ready to ship. What is on your list today though? What are we going to be looking at? Construction equipment. I know, but dozers, did you have some picked out? You said a D7 that doesn't run. Um, what uh, else? Long John Deere's cat excavators. But big pieces. Over, over, yeah. Oversized pieces, like yeah. for the loads? Mm, so, it's going to make you real happy. Hey, that choice is on you that I got to come today. You know? So, we'll still be here at the end of the day. 18 years strong, right? That's right. Yeah. Is there anything fun selling today? Golf cart sold yesterday. Missed out on that. Might have a special guest at noon today. Kevin? No. Not Kevin. It's Not... a pretty big deal. You just uh, have to stay tuned. A big name? Big name. Oh, okay. Like autograph level? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, I was not here yesterday. Did you see a lot of um, YouTube viewers yesterday with Kevin? Here are some of the same ones. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but you see more next week. So... Today is the last day for Jack Martin, or no? It's Jack Lyon. Jack Lyon, I'm sorry. Jeff Martin Ron starts. Auction. <laughs> well, I'm feeling the pressure today. I'm already feeling anxious and nervous. So, um, I know that so comes across on screen. It's probably but it goes for two or three more days yet. Yeah, because we may have to take our load back to the camper and put it in the trailer and come back and get the golf cart tomorrow. I'll, I'll fit my load. Mm. I, I'll make it. I like one load. It's like taking the groceries in. One trip, that's it. Okay, so that's where we're headed, back to the auction. I will give you some footage today. 
Um, I will keep you informed on what we're buying, how we're doing. I hope that the special guests, even though they're a big name, they let me check in with them on my channel also. Um, I'm not sure how that works, you know. Hopefully that they feel that I'm worthy enough to um, broadcast them, um, give an introduction, give a little FaceTime. Um, I mean, Clinton does, even against his will. He shows up on my channel. Um, but I'm going strong. Clinton, did you know that I, I'm over 400 subscribers now? He told me he wouldn't endorse my channel until I got better content. Ooh, phone call. Okay. Um, but we're checking in. I'll keep you posted. Let you know. All right. Thanks, friends. Okay. We're having a little bathroom break, but... I also wanted to um, give you a little teaser on who that special guest might be, that big name. Um, the clue is in the frame right now. So, um, just to give you a little, a little teaser, um, see if you'll hold on and watch the next 15 minutes of my video or the rest of my video um, and see who shows up. What did you run into? We parked by the only tree in the auction lot. Have a hot seat. <laughs> I appreciate that. Hey. You don't get off and show your viewers what I'm doing. Oh, hey. I um, want to see the real content. Yeah, there. I it's still on us. Still hooked. Oh, okay. Well, do you even know what? No, you're I have no idea. But I'm trying to give them a teaser on who is my special guest. That's evidence so of that is. character. Nobody said he was coming. No, but it's possible. It's possible he might show up. Here's the one tree in the whole auction lot that Mr. C parked next to. And guys, here's the damage. Um, half of it ended up in my hair and on my head, um, and the other half ended up tied um, up, wrangled on our golf cart. So I'm gonna work on that. That's my job right now. Big dollar machines are selling, guys. Um, I forget what he said was down there, but it was really heavy. Um, heavy stuff, big money. We have not bought anything yet. I don't even think we've bid on anything yet, but that's okay. Um, I'm hearing like 200,000, 250. <laughs> but mission accomplished. Keep you posted on this. I earned my keep today. Right there, she clean. So this is where the six seater golf cart, it sold, she gone. But wait, there's who bought it. I uh, probably can't show them, but uh, gold steering wheel, six seater, blue. They don't even know that they took my unit. Okay, I'm learning all my YouTube tips and tricks from my husband. Um, so he usually finds a piece of equipment he's interested in and does an inspection. Um, you saw that um, I was mentioning the dumpsters the other day. Um, they sold, but I'm going to take this opportunity to do an inspection on it. Kind of like what he would do. Very similar. Uh, I got my tools. I'm ready to go. It is definitely our color. It's that blue, that Colt's blue. Uh, there's definitely a story behind the color and uh, why it's important not important but why it's um, the color that we always choose it's kind of a story behind that so that will be for another day that will be a story time with Clint and Andy. okay got my handy dandy tape measure here we're going to measure in inches for all you folks we're at about 41 feet About 40 and a half tall, 43 wide, um, it looks like a pretty steady, it looks like a really steady and sturdy um, dumpster. I wonder what it sold for though. You know, I think I would have gone up to maybe 150 on it. Hmm. Uh, maybe 175 because it's the right color. No painting required. No chips. Paint is, um, Kevin is not required. It's empty. No holes. I mean, it looks brand new. 
think a forklift. There you go. Forklift. The forks can go in it for easy dumping. Um, looks like there was three. I wonder if it was a choice. I'm pretty partial to this last one because I think that the ring came this way. So, definitely think it was a keeper. I don't know. It's not going home with us, and that's okay. I'm a newbie, so I'm going to have to really earn my keep, which they're somewhere way yonder doing the um, excavators. But just so you know, we have bought one excavator today so far. Um, we're looking at about one o'clock deep in the Friday afternoon. And we end up with another Cat 313F, he said, and it is a newer model. So I think it's a 2020. Do not know what it's, what we bought it for. I really don't. Um, I went up and asked and he said what we bought and then walked away. So I know that it's not the right time. You know, you know your spouse, you know when to push his buttons, when not to, and when to back off. So I went back to the golf cart and took off to go find some equipment to inspect. Ooh, those of you that held on, um, you know, from the teaser earlier, it's gonna pay off right now. I mean, I, Clinton just called me up, um, gave me a big responsibility, and I'm headed to do my duties. He did say it was by the hay bales where I'm supposed to be headed. Don't know where that is. Um, so, might be a goose chase, but it's gonna pay off for those of you that stuck around with me. Oh, here we go. We're in the land of attachments right now. I mean, I'm excited. I'm so excited. I'm not sure how much I'm going to show you of him though, because I don't know if I have to pay him by the minute when he's on my channel or by the second or by the hour, or if it's just a minimum that I have to commit to. I guess I should have asked that before I, you know, I spoke too soon. By the fair food. Guys, the special guest arrived. I was too nervous to ask him um, to be in my channel. So we'll have to revisit that later. But if you can see next to Mr. C is um, the guy that started it all for us. Um, good or bad. If you know the story, you know the story. Um, but he showed up. I got to give him the ride. Felt very involved and very important in the moment. Also, got an update from Clinton, what we've bought, what our current situation is. Very glad I was sitting down when he gave me that information. I better move out of the way. Um, we are now the proud owners of four more excavators. Um, I think he said they were Cat 308s. They look super clean though. Super clean, super fresh, ready to go. They'll be heading home again next week, getting paid for tonight. Um, but, a little bit too much today for me, a little bit more excitement than I was prepared for, but we're doing good. So I'll let you know how our guests are doing. And I think that that was about gonna wrap up what Clinton was interested in. I hope, or maybe that was just him telling me that after he saw my face, uh, which he also said was filthy, dirty. It is a dusty dust bowl here. now about two o'clock deep in the Friday afternoon. Nothing since the, they're cat 308s, right? That you bought? I bought one 308 and four 313s. 
four three thirteen. Okay. You got five of them. You don't even know what you're talking about. I know I'm giving false information. You're gonna have to fact check my channel. But at least I'm pulled off the road now. <laughs> and I got your tea. If you need any more, any snacks. Hey guys, pulled over here with the mini excavators um, to regroup. Feeling kind of mini and small myself. I gotta provide facts on this channel. At least pri have pride in the information that I'm providing you. So, to clarify, we have bought four cat 313s today, four of them, and only one 308. Again, fact check, found out. We got four of the 313s and one 308. So still a total of five excavators, but I was off on my models. I don't know, I'm pretty sure I got rattled um, when he was giving me the price. So information got jumbled up in my head. I gotta keep my composure, do a better job because I don't want to provide false information. I really am, um, honesty is high on my list. And I'm gonna do a better job of that. But in my defense, again, I got rattled. Got shook up, but pulling over here with the mini excavators. Which there's some John Deere 35 G's over here. I know he likes those. Uh, they look a little, little bit rougher, but I don't know. We may go home with those too. Well, he did act like we might be wrapping it up as far as what we were actively, you know, seeking out. I like the Wii that I put in there. <laughs> I'm sure he would agree that is it a Wii situation. I'm the one with the check. I got it right here. Mm. Purse, boom. But again, regroup. Don't beat yourself up. I had some great information and advice from a YouTube viewer. Really thorough. Like, just be yourself, be authentic, be real. People like that. So, I do hope that you appreciate that part of my channel. Pride is a little hurt right now. I think maybe that was what Cliff was talking about earlier, you know, smiling at the beginning of the day, not at the end of the day. And he didn't even know what he was referring to. He thought he was talking about the chick, but it could have been. I got a little cocky, but I knew what I was talking about. It didn't. It's learning curve. Learning curve. The long reach behind us just sold. Did not hear what it sold for. But that was an interesting piece that people were asking about frequently on his channel. I do watch his comments a lot. He's the one that responds. Hunter also responds, our 14-year-old. Um, he likes to take interest in that. I got some great boys uh, being down here. Definitely miss them. Uh, Mima is running the show up there. So we really appreciate that so that we can get down here and work and see people and enjoy the sunshine and enjoy each other. So we appreciate Nemo holding down the fort. They're getting old enough, they can do it too, but I'm not sure what they eat. They're so self-sufficient, so independent, but they might not feed themselves. So anyway, Thanks for giving me a moment to recompose. This was that real and raw footage I was talking about. And because I thought I was gonna have a lot more to do today, I was kind of taking advantage of uh, um, having some one-on-one -on -one conversation, FaceTime, real time. And drop me some comments, some questions. I do try and respond to those as well. Um, and my numbers. Whew up to almost 500 viewers which I know are Clinton's viewers but um, still I appreciate it because I know we're talking quality viewers so okay 
I'll check in after a bit. Hey, you gonna show us what you got here? What you bought? Yeah, just one of them, guys. See, I recovered. I told him four, but I I had a moment and I regret. I know they're three thirteens. Not bad. Not a very good secretary. <laughs> I said, I said I was really rattled because you told me how much they cost. So in my defense, uh, that's where I Get missed. Get your facts straight. I know. And I did. I apologized. I learned from my mistake. I'll slow down, not get cocky, but You're I know what I'm talking about. you much on your channel. <laughs> that might be true too. That might be, that might be true. Hey, but I got to get comfortable. Trying to get comfortable, honey. Did you just have an ice cream cone too? Thanks for asking. I told you where I was at. What kind? But that wheel loader pull out. Butter pecan? Mm -hmm. But behind you is what we bought one of these. Which one? We don't know. I got it scribbled in my book. Should I have been? Okay. Should I have been up there writing that down for you? That would have been helpful. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, hey, I was getting you drinks. I was refueling our I snacks. We're, I couldn't even find the water. I found teas. I got tea in here, crackers. But you found the ice cream truck. And it's like a legit pushing ice cream truck. You're rambling on. Oh, yeah. Okay. You're going to lose your subscribers. Okay. Got four of these. Man, they're so clean. What year are they? Meow, meow. Okay, uh, I got the camera above the side mirror so I can see the straps watching the load. You ain't paying attention. No, I am. We've got six straps and I see three. So I can see three. But um, we're on our way home. We're devastated. We're tired. It was a long day. Uh, it was a lot of action, uh, as you can tell from my video. A lot of important things happened today but the last part that you didn't see is you ended up with that d7 yeah you were you happy about happy about that mm, i will let you know in the morning when i try to get it going uh well uh oh mr high roller dp said it was running well it was not running on diesel fuel it was running on a different type of fuel that's not good that could be a mess right could be okay we'll get into that tomorrow um, and then you ended up with a random roller. I did. We did the checkout and it was absolutely 100% just like the so, credit card statement. We ended up with... I walked away because I bid something and they had another bid above me and I was walking away and I heard my number. So I got stuck with the roller. With a roller. That's you what also, happens when you go to line auction. And you know how bad I felt about the num. You know, I messed up on the model of excavators that we got today. Four versus one, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. <laughs> He miscounted how Bonus. many excavators we I got. I got one more extra one. And it wasn't buy that many, get one free. It was, we paid for all of them. That was a credit card statement. That's what I'm saying. Like, what did we end up with? Where, how'd this happen? That math calculation in my head yeah. with the roller and the extra excavator, whew, blew that out of the water. It wasn't that expensive anyway. It depends on who you ask. But anyway, we, we got some equipment coming to you guys. excavators for days. Days. That's not even your brand. I know. Times are rough. Did you see any John Deere excavators? I did not. No. I saw a JCB. How'd you feel about that one? Not good. I bought a JCB roller apparently I didn't know about. But when I'll... I walk away, yeah, I'm done because they're trying to get another bid from me, but they were trying to buffalo me. They were taking fake bids is what was happening. So I bid I at a know. number, say 20000 and they got 21,000 from another guy then they wanted to get 22,000 from me and I walked away I guess what I still end up buying it but it wasn't a bad price you weren't no. really upset about it no no but that's what they do they pull numbers out of the air and they know people like me still gonna buy it so they went back at the original price that I bid at because the other one just disappeared in the air okay I stopped listening about uh, 30 seconds ago but I'm watching the load Right. Yeah. So, good job today. Did I did I contribute? Uh, not really. 
did I keep you um, hydrated? Uh, the last person that got me a drink was Mr. Dirt Perkins. That's because I gave it to him to oh, give okay. to you after I went and picked him up. It didn't make you look good. No. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't need credit. I just as long as you were taken care of. Okay. So, thank you guys for following us today. I mean, I got some random, random um, footage. But it was raw and real. So, hope you enjoy. And um, thanks for checking checking out my channel. And like and subscribe it if you want to see more. I know I talked a lot. I was told so. You need to quit talking now. <laughs> Just cut it off. All yes. right. Thank you.